Well, she held up pretty good. Yep, didn't fall over over the night. Not that I was worried about that happening, but never know with this old desk that I bought for 25 bucks off of a co-worker that was all taken apart twice and put back together twice. It's actually three times when I got it. Yeah, this poor desk, man. It was in hell's shape when I got it. We got her all back together and everything's good. What do you got in your face? Is that your ball? Would you like me to throw your ball? Give me your ball. And down the stairs it goes. And the dog, oh, Scampers is gone to get him. You see her just fucking dart out of here? Good boy. Good boy. I just got up at 2.30 today, got up really late, because I was up late last night just hanging out and, you know, doing shit and getting shit working and stuff, and, oh, macro's ready to roll, wait for that to be done, nice, nice, holy fuck, she comes in here like full charge, eh, she doesn't just walk in here, she bolts in here, and then hides over there underneath the desk, and I start filming her and she left, what a fucking cat, she's pretty dicked, I, I have to admit it, she's pretty dicked. But um, I was supposed to bring some, some movies to work, but apparently I can't do that because I don't have any pen drives. I don't know where my pen drives are. I need to find them one of these days. I got one at work, but I don't have any at home. All I have are hard drives, and yeah, oh well. I'll have to bring them in another day. Coworker will just have to understand. You got your ball? Can I have it? Can I have it? Ready? Go get it. And downstairs it goes. Not all the way. Hey, good boy. She comes in the moment I try to film her in here, she leaves. She's trying to pretend like she's not in the room. Look at her face. Look at her. She's always goping. She thinks she's in trouble. She's not in trouble. She can come in here. I just don't like it when she claws at everything. Like she feels the need to attack everything and assault everything. And Oreo is just being a crazy puppy. Oh, isn't this true? Yeah, kids won't. Maybe, maybe, maybe they won't. For those of you who aren't sure, what you just heard was what we like to call in the, in the industry modem breath. Uh, basically, that was a dial-up modem, and that's when they connect to the internet. They make that squealing and squealing, and that's how they lock in their bitrate, uh, depending on whatever the frig they can lock themselves in at, depending on things such as line condition and noise and blah 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 was it was a bing bang so off of that you got 56 kilobits a second which was about 5.7 kilobyte download speed so to download an mp3 that was about a meg it only took you about 45 minutes wasn't too bad wait no an mp3 that was about four megs i think four to six megs took about 45 minutes i remember back in the day the struggle was real people the struggle was friggin real even when I was going to college, I didn't have high-speed internet until my third year there. That's when we finally got high-speed in this town. It was Bell Simpatico, one meg down, quarter meg up. Thought it was faster than crap, you know? It was the fastest friggin' thing on the market. I was like, holy crap, this is awesome! I'm able to download an MP3 in two minutes instead of 30. This is awesome! You know? And I was just like dropping MP3s like crazy, and I'm making an MP3 library, and then movies came out, and I was like, oh my god, it's gonna take me a day to download a movie, but on dial-up, it'll take me a week. Yay! But, um, no, it's funny because last night at work I got a call from a customer who was on dial-up. They've been on dial-up this whole time. I didn't think we had any dial-up customers left, but we do. But the thing with dial-up is, is usually the errors are pretty, you know, normal. And they're, they're easy to diagnose. Like, no dial tone error. What does that mean? It means you have no freaking dial tone, brah. <laughs> like, there's no dial tone present, so what do you want to do? You know, and then there's like always like a R69 with the username password and all those, but the like dial up was the easiest thing to troubleshoot sometimes because you always got that one customer who had that friggin' shitty Motorola dial up modem, the uh, Motorola 56 uh, Flex, you know. So you gotta sit there and you put the init string into it to bring it down to V34 to make it work on the internet because we don't support Flex, we don't support X2, we support V90 and V92. It's all different, it's a bunch of stuff you don't even need to know because it's so old it shouldn't be used anymore, but it friggin' is! Dial-up served its purpose in the past, just to get us on the internet, but nowadays websites are just too complex, like Facebook alone is, what? Oh, I'm under attack. But, um... Like, Facebook alone on dial-up would take probably at least six minutes to load everything into the timeline and that, maybe even longer. Like, 
unless there's a, a version called don't show me anything but text mode on Facebook yeah dial up would not be a good idea and sending emails if you send something with too large of an attachment because SMTP protocol doesn't support check and resend it would basically lock up every time you send an attachment so you know you receive uh, an email with a bunch of pictures, you're like, oh, you know what, I think my parents would like these pictures. So you'd lock on to theirs and you forward it off, but you're on dial-up, and you're thinking, oh, I'll just let it go all night. Well, come the next day, it still hasn't sent. Reason being, because it had an error, and there's no way to resume. Stupid SMTP protocol. Oh, I just made myself some more Monster Energy drink. I love it. It's easy to mix. You want to know why it's easy to mix? Because you get Monster Energy drink in a flavor from Flavor West. So all you do is add the proper amount, whatever you desire, fill it with vegetable glycerin, propylene glycol, and uh, friggin' some nicotine if you need it, and mix it up and vape it away. I think what I need to do is get my old iPad, or my old iPad, fuck, my old uh, Android tablet of the Acer Iconia, and set it up on my desk so I can use that to control the Plex Media and videos and stuff. That way there, it's just a tablet. I can use it as a remote control because using the computer, not a bad idea, but to pause and resume, you always have to have that browser open. What Plex needs is a remote control widget for Windows. And I don't know how the hell I would code something like that because I need to figure out how Plex works with, uh, well, right now the way it's working is it's just streaming a tab off of Chrome, right? So that's probably how you stream Netflix with it too and shit, but Probably try that one out tonight. I haven't tried Netflix on that Chromecast. I like that thing. You know, somebody asked me uh, when I was chatting about it last night, he's like, well, what do you prefer more? He goes, Chromecast or Apple TV? And you kind of can't compare the two. They kind of don't work out together. Poor Oreo, he really hates this time of day when I have to go to work. He's sitting in the house and he's letting out high, high, like high squeal barks. He really doesn't like it when I gotta leave, but I don't expect him to understand that uh, his food may come from a store, but somebody's gotta exchange paper for that food. He'll, he'll never understand. He's a dog. He has separation anxiety sometimes. It's the way she goes. Anyway, let's blast off to work. I wanna talk about Google Chromecast versus Apple TV and why they don't compare. Oh my goodness, what the hell am I rolling behind now? Looks like a big tractor pulling a bigger tractor. Oh goodness. No, I'm trying to think of a way how I can get around this guy. Hopefully he's turning up the key. Jesus, he's the same width as the road almost. Is he legally allowed to come back here or, I don't know. I know there's uh, signs posted everywhere that say like no transports, but tell me you're turning. Aww, I gotta follow this guy. Man, that's gonna suck. Tell me you're turning. Tell me you're turning. Why come for not turning? Where are you going? <gasps> He's turning. He's not gonna make that turn. He's going in the ditch probably. Nope. Holy shit. Oh, uh, tell you what job I would not want is that job of driving that kind of stuff through city streets. No, thank you. I will pass. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk about was the Chromecast and why I say it's nothing like an Apple TV. And the key reason being is Chromecast doesn't have a remote control. It also doesn't have an interface that requires a remote control. It's really fucking weird. Um, it's just really weird. It's like, it literally is like a wireless display adapter that allows you to share certain aspects of your computer or your tablet or your phone. It's not, like Apple TV comes with a remote. You turn on Apple TV like you would your PlayStation or Blu-ray player a little menu pops up and you can choose, you know, you can go videos and if you have an Apple iTunes server, you can stream all your local content and, and you know, there's a Netflix app on the thing so you don't have to have a third party Netflix app, but you can still with Apple TV with your Apple iPhone and your Apple iPads, you can share whatever you're watching on your iPad directly to Apple TV. And that's all Chromecast does. It's like, if you're watching a movie on your phone, you can share it to your Chromecast. However, you can also do this other really nice rolling stop, bud. This is like what he does every day. <laughs> 
freaking buses. But uh, like with the Chromecast, you can share apparently your Google desktop, like your, your background on your phone. So you can share your phone with your TV. So you can, if you're playing like Angry Birds or something, I guess you can look at it really big. I just never tried it. I uh, like I haven't tried it yet, so I, I don't know how that works. I don't really have any games on my phone. I think I have one, and it's that Simpsons Tap Out, and I haven't played it in like six months. Oh, Frig sakes, you couldn't even shuffle over a bit. My goodness, fucking bugs me when buses do that, or when people in general do that. It's like this is wide enough where somebody can go into the right and make turns, while if somebody's going straight or turn left, they can be hugged over enough to give the guy turning right room, so he doesn't have to wait. But then you got this bus who every day, if I get behind him, parks like this at this stoplight and won't let anybody by and just drives you bonkers. I'm starting to wonder if that patch of dirt over there that's worn in where Buddy's walking, I'm wondering if that is from walking or from people taking their cars and saying, screw you, bus, and skiing across the friggin' uh, intersection. Because if you pay attention, the dirt actually comes to uh, right to this ramp over here for the crosswalk for people with like wheelchairs and shit. Wouldn't be surprised. I've done it once. There was a guy taking up a lot of room. I had to get around him and it was in the winter and it was slippery and I was sliding so I took to the sidewalk. <laughs> it wasn't with this car. I think it was with their old Ford Tempo. It was either the Tempo or the, uh, the Focus. I didn't really drive the Golf long. I only drove it for like two weeks, got bored of it and sold it. Oh, to think of all the money I wasted putting hop-ups into those cars, like on the Focus and the Tempo and all that. Uh, I'm off topic, but um, sorry about that, guys. But as far as I, go, I think it is, like the Chromecast, for its price and what it does, brilliant device. But if you have an Apple TV, do you need a Chromecast? Probably not. But if you want one, at least they're only 40 bucks. You know, that's not a bad deal for a way to watch movies like any, any TV, like any living room TV that doesn't have a set top box like a computer or a Google box or an Apple TV on it, I'd recommend a Chromecast because you can Chromecast from both iPhone and Android and you can watch Netflix and so if you're just sitting there watching Netflix you can fire it to the TV and the whole family can watch. Like that's pretty cool. I think that's a brilliant feature. That is cheap, it's discreet, doesn't require its own power supply as long as your TV has a USB port on it. I think it's a brilliant invention. Somebody done did do good. But now uh, Google has their new Google TV coming out. Eh? It's like a little box and kind of looks like Apple TV. And Why are there so many girls wearing shorts today? It's nine degrees out. I guess they're trying to show that they're true Canadians. Crazy bitches. Holy fuck. Check it out, boys. Look at that old thing right there. Look at that old wood paneled beast. My goodness. Oh, zooming in too much. What? is that that's a nice little truck the rsn was pretty wrecked on her though the rsn was definitely wrecked on her since when does the opp have ford f-150s check this beast out look at that ford f-150 freaking opp cruiser ah, that's new normally they drive around in those ford explorers not the old burnt out ones that got the exploder name talking about the new ones there the ones like we got at work. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the Chromecast. I haven't really experimented much with it and I don't have it right dialed in, but I can at least watch all my content on it using the Plex Media server and all that. So that's a bonus. Oh, Trucky, it's green. You gotta find it and grind it, bro. We got things. Oh, and he turns on his signal light like now. We already know where you're going, man. You kind of don't have a choice. Cut across here. Holy! The uh, off-ramp here, on-ramp, or whatever the frick you want to call it. Super busy. I just want to get over here into this lane so I can go to work, earn a paycheck. Yeah, so I personally think that that was a good purchase for the Chromecast. I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy that, and it's going to work for me. You know, that way there, if I'm editing videos on the XPS 9000, and I want to have some music or something in the background, I can stream it right to the Chromecast. That works out awesome. Awesome. Freaking exciting. Awesome. It'd be awesome if it had like a remote control on a front end display, like some sort of a, you know, like like Apple TV like type setup, but whatever. I wouldn't even compare it to Roku. I wouldn't compare it to any of those because this is literally a screen mirror. Or a Google Chrome browser browser tab mirror. That's all it is. So Yeah. Where have I seen that license plate before? Five labs. 
oh, wait a second. Yeah, they have like all sorts of cars, them people. They have a bunch of different Chevs and Saturns and stuff, and each one of them is like one lap, two laps, three laps, four laps, five laps. So this is like their fifth vehicle that they have. I used to work with her over at Staples. She was sexy. That's the chick I'm thinking of. Yeah, she was freaking hot. Everybody in there wanted her. She freaking knew it. So she like flaunted her shit all the time. You know? Everybody wants me, so I'm gonna tease them all. That's what she did. <laughs> I got a tickle in my throat, it won't freak off. I got a tickle in my throat, it won't freak off. Got a tickle in my throat, and it won't freaking freak off. And I got nothing to drink, so this sucks, skeetle douche. Uh, yeah. Oh, Sheldon's got to get his sign down. Elections are over. He won for something, I can't remember. Deputy Mayor Dillweed Bob Holiday. I don't freaking know what he won. Honestly, I have no freaking idea what the guy actually won for his election, but I could care less because this town is being run into the freaking ground. <laughs> it is too. Christ, over at the ONTC, they already laid off, what, 10 painters, a bunch of other people, and some other stuff? Like, here they're thinking, yeah, they're going to sell on Terra and keep the ONTC and it's going to be safe and thanks, and that bus just totally curb hopped. <laughs> because that truck didn't give him much room, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, no, it's like everybody at the ONTC was convinced that they were safe. That, um, they had jobs and for life and blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, the news comes out two days after us being freaking shut down. Oh, my goodness. What in the cock is happening here? Evasive maneuvers? Should I exploit them? If I have to, I'm just going to go up here and bomb around. Son of a bitches. Okay, check this out, boys. Evasive freaking maneuvers. Watch what I'm doing here. You ready for this? This is some epic driving like you've never seen before. You ready? Look at this. Epic driving like you've never seen before. Oh, something like out of the movies. Something like out of the movies. Oh, that's a stick. I'm gonna take that for a ride with us. Make sure that guy doesn't have his motorbike here today. Girls are walking around in shorts. There's no reason for him not to be riding his bike. Just saying. So there you go, people. I'm at work now. So honestly, my opinion on the Chromecast, awesome device. Unless you don't have like tablets, smartphones, or computers, then it's garbage. But if you have those things, at least one of them, awesome device. Really awesome device. But um, I'm at work now. And you probably noticed on this vlog, I didn't swear as much as I normally do. That's because I'm trying to cut back on swearing because a lot of people out there don't like that kind. And that's fine. I don't need to swear. I can just say frig and... Oh, I almost threw up on my face and other things like that. So, you know, not a, not a big deal. Not a big deal. But anyway, people, I'm going to end her here. I'm going to go inside, see what's going on. Get this shift over with. Tonight, I can't be up too late. i got to go to bed early because tomorrow i got that computer to fix. So I'm going to go do, bang that out and get that done. And uh, get a little bit of a little bit of scratch for the weekend. Yeah, a little bit of scratch for the weekend. That's money, not something else. Come on. And go from there. So I'm going to shut her down. Thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you know what to click. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. They could be used in an upcoming commenting on comments, which reminds me when I get home tonight, I need to film a commenting on comments because I have 19 comments to do. And then get that all ready for deployment and probably put that one up for Friday or Saturday. Not sure yet. We'll figure it out. But uh, that's all we got for today, people. Thanks for watching. And until next time, keep on vlogging.